Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. Which of the following is not contained within the deep posterior compartment of the lower leg? So, from this question, we have to find out which is not present in the deep and posterior compartment of the lower leg, or that means the leg. So, uh, the posterior compartment is divided into superficial posterior compartment and deep posterior compartment we have to find out the muscle which are located in the deep posterior compartment of the leg then it will be very easy for us to find out that which is not located in the, into the deep posterior compartment of the lower leg here the options options are tibial is posterior muscle posterior tibial artery tibial nerve sural nerve and flexor hallucis longus muscle so here in this picture we can see the different group of the muscle actually it is the posterior compartment of the leg muscle and uh, this is the total leg muscle that means it contains both the uh, superficial posterior compartment of the leg and deep posterior compartment of the leg and first of all most superficial is the gastrocnemius here we can see this is the gastrocnemius muscle there we can see this soleus muscle so gastrocnemius soleus and another one here you can see this is a small muscle which is the plantaris so gastrocnemius soleus and plantaris gastrocnemius soleus and plantaris they are the superficial muscle or superficial posterior compartment leg muscle now when they are removed then the deep posterior compartment of the leg muscle will be explored so here the superficial group of the muscle are removed here we can see the popliteus soleus they are removed and finally we can see this group of the muscle they are the deep posterior group of muscle of the leg and here we can see first of all this is the tibialis posterior muscle then flexor digit from longus muscle and flexor hallucis longus muscle so this important three muscle are located in the deep compartment of the leg muscle and also in the second picture here you can see this is the tibialis posterior then flexor hallucis longus then flexor digitorum longus so these muscles are located into the deep part of the lower leg posterior surface and here important vessels also pass through this as the posterior tibial vessels and posterior tibial nerve and here we can see the muscle compartment of the leg in short the posterior compartment here this is the posterior compartment this is another posterior compartment first of all it is the superficial posterior and this is a deep posterior superficial posterior there is three muscle gastrocnemia soleus and plantaris and here we can see deep posterior it also contains three muscle such as flexor hallucis longus flexor digitorum longus and tibia is posterior and two important lateral muscle lateral which is peroneus longus and pubis and some anterior muscle also so we focus on this which is the flexor hallucis longus flexor digitorum longus and tibialis posterior because it is the posterior compartment and also in the posterior compartment there is the posterior tibial vessels and nerve which is the tibial nerve and here we can see the sural nerve sural nerve uh, it also located in the posterior aspect but it is in the superficial part so here we can see our option is not sural nerve because the sural nerve here we can see it lies in the it lies outside the muscle so it is most superficial structure and other options such as the tibial is posterior it is the deep posterior then posterior tibial artery it also deep posterior then tibial nerve it also the deep posterior but sural nerve it lies posterior but not deep and flexor hallucis longus it also the deep posterior compartment of the lower leg muscle thank you for